is Melissa Morrow coming at you from sunny St. Augustine, Florida. And today I just wanted to do a quickie. Um, I was with a client last night and we were talking about tribes. And um, one of the fun things about tribes is that you may belong to a tribe and you don't even know it. Um, but your buyers will know it when they're touring your home. And the three tribes that we worry about are religion, politics, and sports. And um, with the upcoming election that I know everybody is sort of choosing one tribe or another, you're either in the blue tribe or the red tribe, and it is important when buyers are touring your home that they don't know which tribe that you belong to because if they don't belong to that same tribe, they may not want to buy your house. As crazy as that seems, the things that you really need to watch for are you have no political paraphernalia out, so no signs in the yard, no bumper stickers on the vehicles if they happen to be outside, no books, no um, charts, graphs, um, nothing left around that they can determine what tribe you belong to. And the same again goes for religion and sports teams. Remember, if they are on an opposing team, maybe they're coming from a different area, or maybe in your area there are two teams that are rival teams. If they're part of that other team, then psychologically they may view your home as some place that doesn't have good energy for them, and they won't buy it. So that's just my quickie for today, but I want you to think, when you're selling your home, what tribe do I belong to, and should my buyer know it? They really shouldn't, and you need to put everything away. Thanks, and have a good day.